Now let's talk about navigating the sidebar. This is the sidebar right here in the course ETEC 5143. You can actually hide the sidebar by clicking this right pointing icon at the upper right to have more space on the page. And then if you want it to show, click again and there it is. There are three basic sections of the sidebar. At the top is a listing of the table of contents and it's listed by groups of tasks. For instance in the iPad Photo Apps task, if you were to click that, it would take you to this page. And here at least showing right now are five tasks in this particular section. If you were to click Wiki, it would take you back to the front page. Or you could click Images task. And showing right here are eight tasks in this section. Then there is an area called Recommended Sequence of Tasks. This is just the suggested recommendation. We all know you're going to do it in the order in which you want. And I'll always have at least a week or more worth of tasks. Now, even though I have items shown here on Friday and Saturday, you don't have to work on Friday and Saturday. However, by Sunday, you must have accomplished, or you should have accomplished these tasks, whatever previous day or days you want to work on them. I'm going to click Wiki to go back. Another section down here are the activities and assignments. On activities and assignments, this is just a reiteration of items you need to submit to me in some format. The green means this is the next one that you should be working on. Uh, if you have worked through images task one, you've already been introduced to this. But if you've forgotten what that was, you could click right here. It would take you right back to Images Task 1. And you might read down and say, oh, that's what he wanted us to do. I remember doing that. Hopefully, I remember doing that. So going back to Activities and Assignments, uh, this tells you how you should get it to me. This does not have to go into your personal 5143 portfolio it does not have to go into your professional portfolio. Here's a syllabus, a class blog example, and here is I'll keep a course portfolio as though I were a student in this class. So that you'll have a uh, an example to go by. And I'll do the same thing with a professional portfolio example. Then I have two videos here in fact, this one we're working on right now is video two sidebar. And at the bottom, information on how to get in touch with the instructor in this course. You need to work on learning how to navigate through this wiki.